The first thing we need to do is start up Photoshop Express. Find it on your phone app screen and tap it. Photoshop Express will open up. Now I've worked on a previous project so I'm going to tell it no, I don't want to continue that session. I want to start a new session. And now you can see I can scroll through my photographs that I have. And what I want to do is select in the bottom right hand corner the collage icon to get started. Now you'll notice the photos have a little white circle above them to the right hand side that allows me to choose them. I can choose up to nine photos. I don't have to choose nine, but I can. So I'm going to go ahead and pick some of the photos that I want to use. I'm going to use this flower, this pink one. I think I'll come down here. I'll get the lizard. And at any point, I'll get the squirrel. I can hit this circle with the arrow down here. I don't have to choose nine photos. I can choose less than that. I'll go ahead and get that flower. these guys. Once I hit nine though, nine total photos, it will stop me from choosing any more and force me to go ahead and create the collage at that point. Notice I'm trying to select this red flower. It won't let me. I have already chosen nine. So I'll go ahead and hit the blue circle with the arrow and it pops me into my collage options. Now notice I've got four different layouts I can use. So I have to choose the layout that I want to work with. Any one will do, you just decide. I'm actually going to go ahead and go with the standard first one with equal distribution of the photos, three rows and three columns. Now that I've got that set up, I can choose to move different photos around. I'm going to hold my finger down on this photo and move it up here and that forces these two to trade places. I'm going to grab this guy here and exchange it with this one here and again it forces it to exchange places. And one more. I'm going to grab this and bring it up there. So now I've moved them around a little bit. The other thing I can do is edit the photos once they're inside the collage and make some changes to it. So for example, this one right here, I can't quite see my lizard. So I'm going to tap it to make it active and I'm going to go select a pencil down here to get into edit mode so I can make some changes to it. Now I could delete it and choose a different one or I could replace it or I can edit the photo. So if I were to delete it, it just gets rid of it. Now I can hit the plus symbol to add a new one. And I'm going to scroll down through here and I'm going to grab a different image that I want to use. I think I'll go ahead and grab this for example. And it pops it in and I'm going to move it over. Oh, I'm in edit mode so I can't do that. So I'm still in edit mode. So I deleted one and I added one. Now let's say I want to replace this. I select it, hit replace, and go find the one I want to replace it with. And I want to replace it with this one right here. So now it replaces it. Finally, let's say I want to edit one of these photos. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on edit the photo. And that pops that specific photo up. It allows me to make some different kinds of changes to it. So notice I can come through here and try different filtering effects. Like maybe I want to make it all black gray or and this is the selenium option under black and white. So just by popping or tapping one of these, I can come through and change the filtering effect on the flower. I think I'm going to stay with this one right here and I'm happy with that. The other thing I can do is come down underneath and I can select the next option which also allows me to do some different lighting effects and special effects. If I click on any of these, it takes me, I can scroll this over, here's the watercolor one. I can come through and by tapping these, it'll come through and create some type of watercolor effect. Here's Cosmos. Give it a second to kick in there. 
There's the cosmos. So you'll see there's quite a few. Here's these raindrops are kind of interesting. So if I click on raindrops, it gives me this effect. Now, I can also crop this image right underneath. Oh, by the way, if I slide this to the left or right, it increases or decreases the effect that I'm in. If I hit the crop button, it gives me the rule of thirds, three rows and three columns. And what I want to do is focus so that these flowers are down, kind of concentrated on these intersection points or focal points. So if I pull this down a little bit, I can make those changes. Pull it back up, bring it in. So as you can see, I can totally change the alignment and the cropping of this image so it fits the rule of thirds. I want to not always center things up, but align them to my focal points, to my left, to my right, or at the intersections. So that's the crop tool. You'll notice down underneath I've got some different ways to crop it. Let's say I wanted to make it a Facebook ad, or I wanted to use it for LinkedIn. All right, here's Pinterest. So you can use any of those if you want to make this a special one. I'm going to go back to the original that I had. So I'm just going to pop here and let's see if I can get this to back up a minute. There we go. There. Got it. So I'm just sort of going back to where I was, where I wanted them left and right. All right, now I'm going to come into this one, and this allows me to make some corrections to it. Now, there aren't very many corrections to do here, but I could sharpen the image if I wanted by just tapping on sharpen. Maybe I want to fade it a little bit, so I'd hit fade. I can use the slider again to adjust the fade. Maybe I want to set the exposure way up, so I can do that. So you get the idea of how you can make some basic edits using this application on your particular photo. I'm going to go back and I'm just going to go back to the very first option. And let's see, I think I'll leave it right about there. Now if I had some red eye effect, let's say I was photographing a person and their eyes were a little bit red, I can use these uh, different options here. This allows me to fix an area that's a little bit not quite the way I want. See, I'm scrolling this open. Okay, and I can fix a blemish. Let's say it's a person and I got a pimple. You can get rid of that pimple. And then this red eye is if there you have a great photo but their eyes are red, then you could select the red eye to change that. Here's the text option. Maybe I want to come through and add some text on this. And we'll come down here. And here's some just fun little decorative things flowers, splashes, you can see all the different things you can do here. We'll come back and do that later though. And then uh, finally, we've got the basic filters again for vignette, bevel, you can do edges, you can do frames. We'll come back and look at how to do that with one specific photo later. So I'm happy with that, I'm just gonna check it up in the top right hand corner and now I've got my collage. So I need to decide what do I want to do with it. I'm going to hit the share icon at the very top right. I'm going to download it to my gallery, photo gallery on my phone. I can also uh, send it via Messenger or put it on my Facebook or Gmail. Here you'll see an option to go down and put on Creative Cloud, Lightroom, Library, and so on. You can print it. I'm going to come right here. I'm going to hit this Others right there. And it allows me to share it out in different ways. So what I like to do is put it up on my photos. So I'm going to upload it to Google Photos where it can stay there for safekeeping. At any point in time, I can come back and download it to another computer or use it on uh, some other social media. But once I've uploaded it to Google Photos, it's stored, it's safe. I can delete it from my phone, especially if I'm starting to run out of room. I'll tap my upload button and there it goes. And I'll upload that photo to my Google Photos now. So I've downloaded it to my phone and I've put it up on Google Photos. 
Now we'll work in a little while on how to send that to submission for Schoology or to post it onto your website in a different tutorial.